G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. And today we're talking about the top three people that are going to rip you off the most when you invest in real estate. Let's get it going. So the biggest ripoff and the first ripoff guys is contractors. I mean, these guys can be absolutely ridiculous sometimes. And I'm sure that most of you investors out there will agree with me. And this is what they do. They will lie, they will cheat, they will steal, and um, they will steal your, your money and spend it on a new car, spend it on a new boat. Let me see what else I've got. Spend it on drugs, take the wife on a holiday, buy materials, use it on another job. I mean, you name it, I've literally lost over $300,000 over the last five years to contractors. It is ridiculous. And a lot of you out there probably won't be willing to admit that you've lost money to contractors. Well, whatever, I'm here today telling you that I do 10 deals per month and I still to this day lose money to shady contractors. Now, how I minimize my losses is I've hired project managers and I've incentivized those project managers to make sure that they come in on budget and that they get the flip um, or the rehab done as quickly as possible. Then they make a certain percentage from every sale that we make. And as you can imagine, this pretty much keeps, you know, costs low, keeps time frames um, short, and um, they're incentivized that, you know, they make money on every property we flip. So um, that is how I managed to go about minimizing my losses and dealing with contractors directly on a one-on-one -on -one basis where I've got these project managers dealing with those contractors instead. The second one, and I'm sorry to all of you bigger pockets folks out there and everyone else watching, the second one is accountants and attorneys. Um, guys, accountants and attorneys have a license to steal. Honestly, I can't tell you how much ridiculous money I have spent on legal fees and accounting fees to folks that have pretty much checked their watch every single time I sent them an email or every single time I called them and charged me for miscellaneous crap that didn't need done, that I did not want done, or they just did it incorrectly so they could charge me more. I've got no tips for you there. The only thing I can tell you is this. Try and build a very strong relationship with an accountant and an attorney. When you are just starting your business, meaning you don't have that, that much money available or you don't have that much net wealth, well, it is, it's my opinion that you've really got nothing to lose. So why the hell would you spend tens of thousands of dollars on legals and accounting? In, in my opinion, you should spend that money on doing deals, on buying and rehabbing a house, on investing on marketing, on investing on branding yourself, whatever it may be, not to spend money on legals and not to spend money on accounting, okay? That's just my opinion and that's my tip for you guys. And the last but not least is appraisers and building inspectors. These guys are the biggest bullcrap artists in the industry. Honestly, why? Because appraisers these days are more worried about job security than they are about giving fair value on a property. They undervalue every property by ten to fifteen thousand dollars because they don't want Fannie Mae knocking on their door if that house or that that lender, I'm um, sorry, that, um, that homeowner goes into foreclosure. What happens if that homeowner goes into foreclosure, then whoever appraised the property, their profile gets looked into. So these guys are more worried about that happening, thus they undervalue the, the, the price of every property um, instead of giving fair value. It is absolutely ridiculous. And then building inspectors, oh my God, these guys are paid to find faults. Even if you build a house from scratch, they're still going to find some faults and there's nothing you can do about it. So guys, I've got no tips for you there either except to sell on your terms. If you can't beat it, you have to eliminate it. So something that I've done with my company, if you don't trust me, don't invest with me. If you don't trust the price that I'm presenting the property to you for, don't buy it. Someone else will or I'll keep it. If you don't trust the quality of workmanship that I've done on the property, don't buy the property. There's nothing I can do about that because I know what's going to happen. The appraisals don't come in. The building inspectors find faults, even though those faults have nothing to do with the sustainability and how self-sufficient this property, the property is going to be for the long term. And that concludes my vlog for today. Comment below, bring on the heat. And if you want to meet in person, I'm happy to catch up in person. I hope it won't get to that. But, um, yeah, guys, thank you for listening to my rant. I hope you got some useful content out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian 
and the real estate dingo. You guys have a great day.